Today we are still going to treat Global Health Service number 30. My name is Professor Sivan Ozokeke. We are making comparison between Canada and Cameroon. The life expectancy in Canada is 82 years. The life expectancy in Cameroon is 56 years. That's a difference of 26 years. So if two people were born together the same day, one in Canada, the other one in Cameroon, the man in Canada will stay 82 years, and then the one in uh, Cameroon will stay 56 years, a difference of 26 years. Then the question you should ask yourself is, why do we have this kind of problem? The factors are listed here, and one of them is unemployment. Unemployment in Cameroon is massive. A lot of people come out of school, they have no jobs, and you see they're moving all over the place. When people are jobless, they become stressed, frustrated, there are a lot of frustration, some depressed. I just had a recent story of a man who killed the girlfriend because of frustration, because of joblessness, because he became stressed. And then that unemployment ate deep into his life. Then the people in Canada are mostly employed. So you expect them to earn a living, be able to pay their bills, and then live longer. There's skill acquisition in Canada with a lot of things going on, people trying to do one thing or the other. The geological industry is thriving. People going there trying to eke out living by uh, mining. In Cameroon, there is none. Skill acquisition is almost absent, zero. So where are they going to get the money? Where are they, how are they going to pay their bills? So that is why you see them dying younger. Apart from that, education in Canada is almost uh, universal. Everyone has to go to school. But in Cameroon, very little education. And in an illiterate society, of course, you should expect that those people are not likely going to do well. They will die up before other people. Then there is social networking. Canada is better. Where people interact because of their level, because of their gender, because of so many factors. And by so doing, they help each other. By so doing, they, they try to suggest something and they're able to do something for one another. In Cameroon, those things are almost very little, little social networking, or it's very minimal. So you don't expect them to live the same number of years. There's also leadership. Uh, in, in Canada, the leadership is almost transparent, honest, they are doing a good job. But our leadership in Cameroon is very poor. Those are places people like stealing money. They steal with people's money, the money they, they are expected to use to develop the place. You see massive poverty, people living in shanties. How do you expect them not to be stressed? How do you expect depression not to be there? And that is why you see them dying so early. There is also the question of food, a lot of food in Canada. Whereas in Cameroon, they barely produce any amount of food. So these are issues our leaders should take note of in Cameroon particularly, or the developing countries. Why there is a lot of corruption, massive corruption in Cameroon. In Canada, there is little or no corruption. You see the leaders are doing better. So once leadership start focusing their attention towards making good policies and providing for the people, sanitizing the environment, I mean eliminating poverty from the environment, you see people living longer. And that's what global health is all about. We are advocating a situation where people will live at least at a minimal stage in life and be able to make it, than just you are born, the next thing we hear is that the person is dead and gone. Whereas people in other developed countries stay longer. They have more food, better education, better social networking, uh, skill acquisition, they have employment. You expect them to live longer anyway when compared to the other people. 
And these are things and issues our leaders ought to take note of and be able to modify the way policies are turned out in these different countries. It is only by so doing that they will uh, get nearer health prevention, they will get nearer what the World Health Organization is advocating so that people will live longer instead of just coming on earth without doing anything and the person dies of either because of sickness, because of poverty, because of stress or depression. These are issues we need to eliminate. And it's only by bringing out better policies that these things could be improved upon. Thank you. We'll continue with number 31 in our next class. Thank you.